I haven't done a YouTube video in a while, so let's see how terrible this turns out. Well, uh, the other week ago, found a crisis zone machine on Craigslist. They originally asked him for about six fifty for this thing, and you know, which isn't usually a bad price for some of these machines. I mean, if they're in pristine condition, and as you can see, this thing isn't in terrible condition, but I would definitely not call it pristine. So six fifty was a little high. And you know, I waited a little bit and check that every now and then, but uh, some for some reason they said the colors suddenly went out on this thing, like it was just all messed up and they didn't know what happened, so they were offering for 300. So I gave the guy a call and I said, You know, how much are you willing to get out of this thing? And he's like, well, you know, I'll take 200 And I was like, <laughs> all right, well, I'll see you Saturday. Went in Saturday, and you can obviously see that I picked this thing up. So 200 bucks, it's not bad. It's actually in better condition than my uh, non-dedicated Neo Geo that I picked up for 250 So, I mean, as you can see, you know, colors aren't bad. No big gouges. Uh, missing some of the hardware. Doesn't have the little... Uh, brackets for the step which is no big deal i'm sure you could just make that out of any sort of sheet metal or something i mean yeah the graphics are a little ripped up um a couple tears here and there um no big deal to me i mean aesthetics are important to me but not important enough to pay 200 dollars for two brand new stickers i mean a couple of tears here and there Nothing too bad. The only thing really alarming about it is that the uh, back, I don't know what the hell they did. They, they must have freaking dropped it and snapped it and just kind of like screwed in some mounts to fix it. But, uh, nah, not too bad. What's kind of cool about this machine, I'm not sure if this is true or not, but it still has all the Namco emblems. And uh, it actually came from the Bensonville in Illinois, but this thing has been all over the place. I mean, obviously, because it's got Illinois, uh, it was sold from Illinois, but it's got a state of, tennis, state of Tennessee uh, arcade machine license. So, I mean, this thing must have been thrown around. And for being thrown around so much, I mean, it's not in too bad a shape. I mean, yeah, it's missing that one piece and the wood. It's a little damaged, but like, for 200 bucks, you really can't go wrong with this thing. I mean, the only thing I did to it was adjust all the pots in the machine for all the colors and stuff. I mean, I got it to work pretty good, other than that little corner up there is green. I was told to degauss it, but, you know, I, I tried, I tried, I tried, but nothing happened. I mean, and right now I'm in a garage, so I don't know anything magnetic that would be close to it. I don't think it's something to do with magnets. I think it's just me being an amateur at this stuff and just not adjusting the pots the right way. But, I mean, it looks good. The monitor's nice and bright. No burning, as far as I can tell, which is surprising because, you know, this thing's from, what, 1999, 2000. So, I mean, it's 11 years old now, but I mean, gun's in good shape. It fires. I mean... Uh, insides aren't too bad. I'm not going to take off the back, but I mean, it's obviously not the same coin door it comes with because it's a two coin door and they originally one or whatever. But I mean, all the speakers work. For some reason, when I got it, the right speaker wasn't working, and all I did was turn it up, turn the volume up, and it like popped and suddenly decided to work. But uh, yeah, I'll show you a little gameplay. Soul Select. If the gun will work. Yeah, the gun's not working right now. I don't know why. This did this to me earlier. It's like the gun doesn't want to work unless you like jiggle the cable so I don't feel wire loose. Let's see if I can get it working real quick. Oh. Doesn't want to work. Dry Creek Plaza. I don't know why. Action! I don't know if I just got a bad connection somewhere or what, but it doesn't seem to want to work every time. But, I don't know, other than the 
this thing not working right now. I mean, as you can see, it's in pretty good shape. I mean, I think the gun just has to do with a, a wire disconnected, but uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Well, what I found out is, uh, I remember that they said something about they were doing, uh, the previous owners did like a, a motor replacement or something in the gun, and I don't know, there's just a couple bolts missing, and I jiggled this little board right here, and the wires under here must be like, kind of like, I don't know, either touching each other or crimped, I gotta take the thing apart, but uh, yeah, I was always just moving too much, and now it looks to be working, but I figured as I had to back off, because I was just checking real quick, I'll show you the inside, I mean... It's actually not too badly wired. Um, when I got it though, the little monitor board was kind of sitting in the front of the machine. Like someone obviously was working on this and they had n either no idea what the hell they were doing or whatever. But I mean, as you see, it's not too badly wired. There's probably, uh, I could probably come in here and fix some of these up. Uh, only problem, like some of the components are down, the power supply. I mean, the switching power supply isn't all the way bolted down. I don't know what the hell you call this thing, a, a isolation transformer maybe? I don't know, I'm not too big into all the terms yet for arcade machines, but that's all the way bolted down. I mean, PCBs bolted down, all the little boards over here. But uh, yeah, everything's intact. So, and right now I figure I'll just show you some gameplay, at least this time. Soul select. Yeah, the guns, see, you can see the guns working now, so do this one-handed real quick. Action. Do it left-handed, too. Anyways, you can see it's working on. I mean, the gun's real responsive. The aim's real good, you know. But, uh, yeah, everything's working. Everything's good. I just need to get a couple bolts and junk and kind of fix some wires up. But, uh, thanks for watching.